All right, guys, I want to introduce you to uh, the Admiral uh, AM radio. This is a project I want to start. I don't really know that much about electronics, but I had an idea that I could possibly buy an old radio and gut it um, and put a Bluetooth speaker in it. And I've done some research and I got some parts. So I'm going to be attempting to put in this thing right here, which is a, um, a Bluetooth uh, receiver board and then some various like speaker wire and things like that. And maybe, I have no idea what I'm doing, it will be possible to get this um, AM 50s radio, which currently doesn't work. It is broken, but it looks cool. I really like the way it looks. It cost me about $30 on eBay. It hums. Woo! Okay, so that's what we can do with it right now. Ooh. I mean, it's a good sound, but I think we can do better. They really do not build these things like they used to. Look, look at this. It's got some vacuum tube. What is that? Changed its frequency. Isn't that crazy? Look at that work. Something called a p p potentiometer. It limits the the sound to the speaker. It's volume. It's volume. It's volume. So uh, my plan is to sever the connection between the original circuit board and the speaker and put in uh, this guy, which was like $11 on Amazon. No idea what I'm doing. All of this is gonna be replaced by this and then I'm gonna use my phone to control uh, my new Bluetooth speaker. That thing is from the 50s, guys. Look at that mono sound, isn't that crazy? I have no, no idea if this is gonna work or not. Right, right now I've done the most simplest thing, which is just simply wire uh, two speaker cables to the Bluetooth uh, receiver. Really a hack method, so I'm gonna put it down here. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, it made a noise. It's totally working. That was the Bluetooth thing turning on. The soldering went pretty well. Only burned myself a couple of times. Taped the... Bluetooth chip or inside the plastic case and then I soldered these guys uh, to the stereo the speaker and then one to the potentiometer. I could not for the life of me figure out how to get the volume to work but it does work as an on and off switch. You're gonna be able to use the knob but not to increase the volume but just to turn it on and off. That, that, that's what I got. That's what I got. Um, Burned myself too many times to keep messing with it. Put it all back together now. All right, guys. Hey, it works. I, don't I got this knob right here. This can turn it on and off. Uh, it doesn't really turn it off. It just cuts the power to the speaker, so it's still on. That's basically all I can get it to do. Just, just use the volume on your phone. That's how it works. I can only play a few seconds of it because YouTube is going to get mad, but you can control this with your phone. Right now I just have it uh, hooked up to uh, my computer, but phone is fine too. Just can't do both at the same time. It sounds pretty good. Because it's using the original speaker, it's like not super amazing, but it does sound pretty authentic. The next thing I want to do is to try to put a different speaker in it. Um, and get like a high quality like hi-fi sound out of it, but I think the original I just want Sounds pretty good Anyways, this is a super fun project anyone can do in like an hour if you have the parts So uh, I recommend you guys all go out and get an old radio super fun guys. You should do it